Hey, what's up? This is Trev from TFK, hanging out. OIC Productions with 64 questions questionnaire coming at you. Bam. All your answers will be questioned. All your answers will be questioned. All your answers, All your answers will be questioned. Will be questioned. Will be questioned. Will be questioned. All your answers will be questioned. Well, by the way, today is the International Day of Happiness. So let me start this interview with, <laughs> with a question. What does happiness mean to you? Being in Moscow. <laughs> when you were the happiest? Uh, when other than the day of my marriage when my son was born. <laughs> was the song that you wish you had written? Wow, uh, Walking in Memphis by Mark Cohn. All right. If this interview could have a soundtrack, what would it be? Off the top, I'm going to say Everlong, Foo Fighters. <laughs> Who is your own thousand foot crutch? Uh, my, I would say my faith. Advice you would give your 15-year-old is? Oh, advice to 15-year-old? Um, you're just starting out, man. What would you say to yourself at the age of 50? To me? What are you still doing in a band? <laughs> How would you describe yourself before your TFK period of life? Young. This big. <laughs> and after? taller and uh, just music, surrounded by music. All right, what most surprised you this year? Uh, expecting a baby girl. How do you find Russia? We love it, love it. It's been a, an amazing experience. Say something in your best Russian accent. Spasibos, yellow blue bus. What's the coolest thing about Canada? Hockey, gotta say hockey. All right, if you could run away from all the bother of being a celebrity just for one day, what would you do and where would you go? Man, you know, I don't know where it would be, but a, a tiny little cabin somewhere far away. I see. Mountains. Mountains. What's your greatest fear? Great white sharks. If you could have anyone speak at your funeral, who would it be? Man, some good questions. Um, man, anyway, my father. Name the song that sums up your personality. Ooh, um, man, these are, you gotta think about these. Um, I would say, sums up my personality. It's a big question. Can I come back to it? All right. If you could steal a smooch from any girl on the planet, who would it be? <laughs> I'm obligated to say my wife. What's your biggest pain? My, my biggest pain? Your biggest pain. My biggest pain, uh, I would say traveling. All right. We love traveling when we get here, but it's, it's the, we, we have a lot of travel. So I would say, currently I would say travel. What's your greatest gain? Greatest gain? Uh, Man, I would have to attribute that to my faith. Just, just uh, you know, my belief and, and my faith. I see. What's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure? Uh, man, I would say Thai food and hip hop, for sure. When was the last time you lost your temper? Last time I lost my temper, man. That doesn't happen very often. Um, pretty chill dude. Last time, I would say. Man, I actually don't even remember. Honest, honest answer. Doesn't happen very often. All right. So, shall I repeat the question about the song that sums up your personality? Yeah. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. Um, take your time. It's all okay. I would say this is just the first one that comes to mind. I can't remember if all the lyrics would support this or not, but uh, at least the idea of it, I would say "Firestarter" by The Prodigy. Wow! Great choice. <laughs> Who was your first celebrity crush? Alyssa Milano. Ooh. Who's the boss? <laughs> Let's get you. Your childhood nickname? Man. I think just Trev. 
It's short form. Superpower you wish you had? To be invisible. Most incredible place you ever visited? Hawaii. Other than Moscow? <laughs> Hawaii. What's the best thing to start your morning with? Coffee. Americano, actually. What's the first thing you thought of when you woke up this morning? We get to play tonight. Freaking Moscow, it's gonna be sick. What's the best first date idea? Best first date idea? Man, you know, uh, I just, I'm gonna kick it old school. I'm a movie guy, so I would go to the movies and probably go get dessert somewhere. It's low key. All right, uh, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Currently, actually it's been for a long time, it's a Heat. Oh, I see. What's the movie that made you cry? <laughs> the Notebook. There you go. It's true. Now it's out. <laughs> All right. What's the worst second date idea? The worst second date? Uh, <laughs> family dinner. <laughs> Too soon, man. Too soon, bro. What's one thing you cannot live without? Man, that's a tough one. Other than if you took family, generic answer, faith, I would say, I mean, music, just my music, just having a chance to make it and create it. Okay. If you were a president, what your slogan would be? Uh, be the change. Can you repeat it in French? Absolutely not. <laughs> I wish I could. I should be able to, being a Canadian. Joel could do it. Um, what's the book everyone should read? Uh, I mean, it'll say it, to say the Bible is the truth from from my me to you. But I would say um, that's a book you really got to dig into. So I would say The Alchemist. Whoa, pretty great book. What's the last book you read? Uh, last book I read. It's called Hashtag Struggles. Okay. I'm currently reading it. Never heard of it. Who was the last person you texted? My wife. <laughs> was the sexiest part of a woman? Uh, man, depends. I mean, it depends on the woman, I guess. I'm not like a this or that kind of guy. I just think, you know, beautiful is beautiful. All right. What's the sexiest part of yours? Of mine? Wow, no guy wants to answer that. Um, I have no idea, and that's the honest truth. Never thought about it. What's your favorite curse word? Do most guys have an answer for that? <laughs> <laughs> I try not to do it a whole lot, man. I, I guess, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go with hot damn. Rhymes with a lot of stuff. Okay, what's your favorite Canadian slang word? Canadian slang? Uh, we gotta, I gotta just go classic with out and about. What does it mean? It's what people make fun of us for saying those words wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, and if I may ask it, how much you were paid for your music for the first time in your life? Pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Probably not even pizza the first time. What's your favorite pizza? We elevated pizza? to pizza eventually. <laughs> Was that? it with cheese or? Uh, probably going to go pepperoni. You know? Oh, I see. They, they really splurged. It was big. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you could have a cup of coffee with any person, living or dead, who would it be? Man, that's a good one. I would say, man, there's a few people. I would, I would love to have a cup of coffee with Marilyn Manson. Whoa. It just seems like an interesting, interesting individual. Um, he wouldn't be my first choice, though. I would say, you know what? Throw it out to Bono. Sit down, have a couple, couple teas together. I don't know. All right. Explore the space. If you could change just one thing in your appearance, what would it be? Just one thing. Uh, I would be not as skinny as I am, probably. <laughs> How far one can run with giants? How far? Yes, how far? Endless. Endless. <laughs> what do you really know when you sing, what do we know? What do I know? No, the whole point was to say, what do we know? <laughs> uh, that we don't have all the answers. So, uh, what do I know? I mean, okay. uh, with, as far as that song goes, I mean, I know I, I believe and I'm, I'm confident in my faith. I can say that. Great. Describe your Russian fans in three words. Amazing, energetic, powerful. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Who would you like to make a cover of your song? Wow, uh, man, we'd be we're flattered when anyone does that. I would say, we're right now, as, as far as rock bands go, we're, we're fans of the Royal Blood, so that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. Okay, 
Who would you like to collaborate with? Jay-Z. <laughs> Have you ever sent a tweet that you wish you hadn't? And what was it? For sure I've sent tweets I wish I hadn't. Um, I can't remember exactly what they were. It was probably something I thought about in the moment that was way too personal. And then like five minutes later, I was like, whoa, why are you sharing that? Can't, I can't remember what though. Sorry. Okay. What an inspiration is? What's my inspiration? Yes. Man, uh, faith, love, fear, relationships, people, experiences. That's kind of what it pours out of. Who sells seashells on the seashore? She sells. Who is she? <laughs> You're married, come on. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> All right. What's the biggest misconception about you? Uh, the lead singer thing. What's the craziest thing you've ever done on stage? Man, uh, craziest thing I've ever done on stage? Craziest thing that's ever happened to me on stage, I can say. There was, this, there was this girl, we were at this arena show in Chicago and she was running and there was this huge line of security. She broke through the security somehow and just, I guess she was trying to give me a hug and she just beelined it. And the guys saw her coming so they were all looking. I, didn't, I was just singing looking this way. She came and ran and just like bear hugged me. And just, we both went flying into the corner of the stage and then these giant uh, security guards grabbed her and <laughs> threw her over their shoulder like a doll and walked away. I was like, what just happened? So we just kind of kept playing the song, just stood up and started singing. <laughs> well, it was pretty surreal. Yeah, stressful. Um, if you could go to any concert, past or present, what would it be? Yeah, so many great shows. Um, <clears throat> any concert? Yes, just any. Man, I would say, I mean, I'd love to see Rage Against the Machine and Audio Slave with Foo Fighters, with Jay Z on that bill, and Gangstar, some old school hip hop. Um, I'd love to, we'd love to be on the bill if, if, if they'll let us. Uh, Def Leppard, who else? Maybe some Tom Petty? All right. Mix it up a bit. Was the last song you listened to on your phone? Last song? Uh, I would say. What's the last song? It's a song by. Uh, a band called the Chainsmokers, and it is called. I don't even have it on me. It's the new single by the Chainsmokers. Okay, I'll it's check good. it. It's good. I'll just check it. It's What's the good. moment you felt most proud? Uh, I think you know the moment my son was born. Probably. Every time we make a record, you kind of feel the same way. It's just, you know, you can't help but be, be proud of it and excited about it. What's the song that always makes you dance? Dance, I would say. Turn down what? <laughs> Man, every time. What's one vice you wish you would give up? One vice. Hmm. That's a great question. I don't even know if I have an answer. Do you have many of them? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I have many imperfections. <laughs> you know, you have those things you're working on, but I can't think of pinpoint one that's like, you know, this or that. Okay. Okay. Got my hands full. I will take it as an answer. All right. What's your biggest goal for 2016? Um, well, we're going to release Exhale, our brand new record. So uh, just to get on the road and get to connect with people and some new music. Okay. What's the greatest interview question you've ever been asked? It's definitely a part of this 65 question uh, questionnaire. Um, <laughs> what's the one I couldn't answer? There was one I still had. Oh, the one about, yeah, what song best describes your personality? That's amazing. All right. We're flattered. What do you still want to achieve? I mean, this is what I'm passionate about, what we're passionate about as a band and what we feel called to. So we, we want to be doing this. We'd love to be doing it as, as long as we can, you know. So it's never really been about a mark or, or sales or this or that. It's just kind of about getting to continue that and building it with our audience and our platform. And outside of that, I mean, as a family, you just, you know, I pray that everybody's healthy and happy and walking life together, you know. All right, what keeps you going? Uh, definitely faith and friends, family. How would you like to be remembered? Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I guess at the end of the day, as, as someone who uh, was okay with standing up for what they felt like was true and, and was honest about it and uh, did it to the best of their ability while they were here, you know? What's the question you would like to answer, but I didn't ask it? That's a good question. Sneaky. Uh, what's the question? 
These are this is these are thinkers, man. Um, I would say, <laughs> I just first thing that came to my mind. Do you guys have a new video coming out? Do you? We do. Funny you should ask. We have, a, we have a new video for Running with Giants coming out very soon. Hope you guys dig it. We're excited. All right. Thank you. This was the last question, finally.